party dance time. I don't know. Okay, stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, I have found a new toy. And that is great news because I am a lonely boy. We are over at the SWPC NOAA Space Weather Enthusiast site. I'll link it for you. Because we are enthusiastic about space weather. Because it is crazy as shit, man. It is just mind-blowingly strange. It's a good time to be a celestial physicist and to ponder the great mysteries of the universe. But on to more tangible things that affect you and me. Like, for example, the auroras. A lot of planets have them. They're all pretty cool. And uh, as we got news that amateur astronomers find something an entire fleet of Martian robots could not, plumes on Mars, we want to keep extra eye on the same spots on our planet. Because whereas 97% of scientists are convinced Carbon is the cause of every single fucking thing on the planet when it comes to climate and the weather and the atmosphere. I don't think it's that simple. And I have noticed the magnetic pole seems to be moving a bit. And so when I was pulling up this Aurora prediction prognosticator, A, I've seen the stills before. They're usually at Space Weather or on Artists at Solar IMG. But I don't ever remember the Auroras being red, which is not due me at all. Just increases the probability that you'll get to see Auroras. But see how the North Pole is kind of here, as we understand it? And I know it moves and it drifts, but it seems like it's more here. Right about there. And that makes sense. Because it seems like the North Pole is dipped down. Magnetic, which is why everything's getting crazier and colder and changing more rapidly fascinating eh so that's about that much difference so what like used to be what, the weather that used to happen here now happens here and weather that used to happen here now happens here and so on 